Kazadia ha folks, and welcome to a new series uh, on my channel, Astroneer. If you're not familiar with Astroneer, I do not blame you. It is uh, a game that's kind of flown under the radar for a little bit of uh, a little bit of time now, and I love it. I've had this game, I think, coming on just about a year and a half now, and I have not played it since about two updates ago. And then I noticed that they'd put out a new update kind of recently for uh, like a jet propulsion stuff. And I was just stoked. So, we're going to start a new game. We're going to have a bunch of fun. And we're just going to go land on the planet. Now, I've already customised my guy. I've got some stuff from before. Uh, from when I played it with a mate. But the basic principle behind this is... Uh, you land on a planet. You mine, farm, do a bunch of other stuff on the planet. Activate gates. You go down to the centre of planets where gravity is all funky. It's great. It's just a really fun kind of like peaceful game that you can have on in the background and there I am of course can I do it yeah there we go you can kind of uh so instead of having to watch all these cinematic camera angles you can do that to bug the game out and then boop, there you go so the basic controls are clearly you know traverse the world view your surroundings find strange and interesting objects uh you do have an action wheel which is new to me and a compass which I think is new to me as well uh, missions are new to me. That is that is something that is desperately desperately new to me. Definitely new to me. So I do know that if you come over here, you can uh, get some stuff dropped off. Now, oxygenator basically does what it says on the tin. You uh, grab the little thing, slot it in the base right here, and it starts producing oxygen. Provides constant oxygen flow. To connect to tethers, platforms, and cables. There's a bunch of uh, a bunch of fun stuff on this. The it takes it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but when you do, it's a lot of fun. So I'm guessing, yep, that gives me tethers and 500 bytes. So I don't want to like bog you down with too much stuff straight off the bat. But um, oh, I'm supposed to connect to tether apparently. So tethers. So you can see I have this tether connected to me, right? It kind of works like an old-fashioned diving bell. Um, or, well, sorry, not a diving belt, a diving suit. The old-fashioned diving suit didn't have an oxygen tank, had an oxygen pipe that would go up. So it's kind of like that. So as I move away from base, it detaches, so I can put down a tether to increase my range. And I can keep going, and I can keep going, and I can just use this to explore until I get other means of generating oxygen. Uh, now, there is a way to actually change... There it is. I want to be nice and behind me. So I do have a backpack. I can store eight things plus two on the side. I have a gun, which allows me to terraform, and I have the ability to research things right here. Uh, there are four different tiers of research, I think. I'm trying to remember a lot of the stuff from my old my old days of playing this. Ooh, wait, whoa, 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 that gives me a small canister. Yes. So with this small canister, I can actually, if I can get my gun up, there we go, I can stick it on top of my gun, so now I have increased soil capacity. What's this? Gather compound, gather resin. Okay. Fill a small canister with soil. That's pretty. And uh, discover a gateway. Okay, so that I can do. So here we have compound, I believe. We'll find out in a second once I've gathered up enough of this. Oh, yes, this is compound. So as you uh, as you do what you see me doing right here, which is mine. Eventually you will mine enough of a resource to create a compound. Now you can use compounds with a small little um, printer on your back to make different things. So I can make some tethers right there, a small printer, uh, and then different things make different things on your, on your back as well. Uh, oh, here's another thing as well. See this blue bar? That's my oxygen and uh, I'm drastically running out. So let's just connect myself up right there, get a tether back down. It's pretty simple, really. Um, I'll, I'll do some basics with you. And uh, I think that will probably be enough for today's episode. But you do have some some uh, basics that go on. So tether is your uh, your oxygen supply that allows you to venture different places, different planets have different uh, things. So this planet has uh, is, is your basic is your starting planet basically. How much does that give me? Well, that's giving me enough. I'm actually going to move. I'm going to create some tethers, which uh, hopefully will go back up onto this one over here. Uh, no, they won't. Oh, yes, th sorry, that's a small generator. So, uh, let's swap off that. There we go. 
I'd like to have a nice, neat, organized backpack. So you can actually move things around your backpack, it's pretty cool. There we go, just making sure I get enough stuff. So that's compound. Compound is a uh, natural resource, like it says. I'm not tethered off, am I? Nope. Make sure I get tethered all the way over. So this over here is resin. Uh, and by the way, you, if you do decide to pick up this game, um, which I highly recommend, this game is great, okay? It's kind of in the same realm as uh, Minecraft. So you know when you play Minecraft and you just kind of zone out for a bit and chill? That's basically what this game is right here. Have we run out of... Nope, there we go. I was going to say, we have a tiny amount of resin going around there. It's, I'm guessing it's all under my feet, like an idiot, I don't know, yeah. It's all under my feet. Well, that's not good. So, you, by the way, you can, if you wanted to, and I have done this, you can drill all the way to the planet. Well, you have to kind of drill to the planet's core anyway to do some of the stuff. But you can just straight up drill to the planet's core. Um, you get different resources depending on the... Uh, depth that you decide to go down to cool and the further down you go the different biomes that you come across is kind of weird but what I ended up doing on one occasion was creating a giant slide um, because you do actually have physics in this so that's a medium printer I want a medium platform let's just let's just make ourselves a medium platform and we completed something here fill a small canvas with the soil yep and yes cool so active, uh, print platform. Uh, yeah, print medium printer, slot medium printer to platform. Well, I've just created a platform right here, uh, which you can just oop, unpack. Now, the cool thing about this, so if I take this guy over here, you'll see that I have adapters. Uh, how do I rotate? There we go. You'll see that I have adapters here, these cable plugs. These cable plugs plug in to this. Now, the base, which has, uh, I believe, like a nuclear generator going on. This thing right here. I believe this is a, a nuclear generator of some sort. It's producing power. It's producing a teeny tiny amount of power, which is not bad. That power then passes through the cable into this and so on. Now, you can make things like solid uh, solar panels and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I have a storage. I'll take that. I have that. Now, I can put this on my back that so I can carry the small ones around with me which is kind of cool or uh, I can put it oh well if I do that and then this pretty sure I can put it in my hand no only only I'm guessing only medium to small ones I can put in my hand but let's create some uh, let's actually detach this from there and stick it on here so there we go now that's connected which is great let's rotate this this way Plug it in. There we go. I'm kind of a weird person when it comes to this game because I'd like to have all my things lined up as uniform as I possibly can get them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, what is it, anally retentive when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like, this, this, the, that, bending that cable is bugging the crap out of me already. But storage, uh, pretty self-explanatory. So I can carry my storage around like this. And I believe if I, is it triangle? No, it's one of these. Can't remember which one. But if I... So if I do that, is it... Oh god, no, it's not that. Ah! No! Put it down. Oh, yes. No, here's a, here's a fun thing. I can lock this to the ground. So I can't pick it up. That's something that I recently found out. Uh, I'm going to store this right here. Like, ah, it's triangle. Okay. And then, of course, you know, I can just... Boop. Storm my, storm my stuff, which is great because if you've ever played uh, Factorio and you are someone who loves automation, you can eventually automate this process. So you can automate the mining, you can automate the... Uh, oh, I, sh I should get off stuff that requires resin. But you can automate everything in this game. It's great. I, I, I love this game. So I don't really need to carry much around with me. I'm just going to carry two of these in case I need to create some other stuff. But, let's, uh, ah, so it is, it is, it is the uh, tap of the middle. So as you can see, we have a small printer. Uh, all these are unlocked. All the blue ones are unlocked. All the grey ones are not. Hence, things like drill mods, boost mods, different kind of nozzle mods. Uh, some of them are, some of them are good, some of them are bad. 
kind of tempted. I have 1,500 bytes. So yeah, see, an auto arm is, is kind of good. You can set, trust me, there are people, I think someone's made an actual computer in this game, as in they use inputs to make it do things on a big screen, kind of like people do in Minecraft. Uh, but I want to get a medium platform right there. And a little tractor. So I actually have to get the resources to build quite a lot of this thing, uh, quite a lot of the stuff that goes on. You're not connected for some reason. There we go. So print a medium printer, slot medium printer to platform, unlock print and attach boost mod, unlock print and attach drill mod. Can I do that now? No, I don't have enough bytes. But that is okay because, uh, all right, nope, nope. Where's medium storage, row receipt, tractor, small canister, medium printer. There we go. So we have 3D printing technology. We took 3D printing technology with us to, the, to space. To space. Let, it, let us do the chicken dance while we wait. And of course, let's unpack that. And we will take that and go stick it on this platform over here. Whoop. Now, the orientation of things does matter, so at the minute that would be building there, but if we pick this up and rotate, we're now building out there. Uh, research chamber is kind of what I want to go for. I need, is it two compound? Two compound. Did not mean to pick up that resin, but I'll take it. Now, the reason you want to make a research chamber, so I'll get that one print in there, and you can see the indication of power right here next to the cable plug. So if you ever need anything to, uh... yeah, give me that, give me that. So did I complete something on that one? What does this give me? Large platform, which is actually what I need. <laughs> what I need. So on this planet, by the way, I get medium wind and medium sun. So when you are doing different types of power, which by the way, if I had a solar generator, a little one, I could hook it up right there. Um, so if I was to do wind power, I would be 50% uh, effective. If I was to do solar power, I would also be 50% effective. Planets closer to the sun generally don't have a lot of wind, but do have a lot of solar. And planets further away sometimes have nothing at all, which means you've got to take some sort of like um, one of these big boys which, if I can actually find it, let's see if we can find it. Don't think we will, but it is it is a big boy. We also have small shuttles, by the way, which is kind of fun. I really, I, I really do like this game, and I wish I had more people to play it with. But while this thing is printing right here, we need to go, ah, right here. See this? This is a research material. I take this, I can plug this into that when it is done, and it will, uh, it will allow me to research bytes. Kind of see where this is going. So let's find a good spot to... Damn, there is no good spot. Oh, there. Probably the best I can do right now. I will lock that down. And I will connect that up. See, now the cool thing is... See this, uh, see this right here? If I had this printer on that platform and then I had resources here, here, here and here and wherever. If I tell that to build something and the resources are on here and not my back, they will go and be taken directly from the closest source. They, they put a lot of thought into this game. I really do like it. Now, of course, let's, uh, oh, let's get this resurgent. I, I, I get mixed on the control sometimes. So that is going to take a whopping 11 minutes, 10 seconds, because we don't have full power. So I guess I should try and work on some power at some point. Let's have a look. Have we finished anything else? For science, we get two beacons, 250 bytes. Beacons are actually really fun, and uh, they are really good. So do we have... We do. We have a mountain over there. So I could take this beacon and slap it on top of that mountain and I'll be able to see it from over here. Um, it's really good for when you go to 
a landing site on another planet. If you don't have a base set up on another planet, you need some way of remembering where you land. Because when you land and then you take off, you don't always land in the same area. So if you've got a beacon down where you landed before, you can see where you landed from orbit and you can sit your booty on right on down, which is great. So, let's have a look. Unlock, print and attach the boost mod. Yeah, right, so the boost mod is... Oh, I don't have enough, I only have 500 bytes. And you can see, by the way, your bytes going up as we do the research. Ready? It should go up in a second. There it is. So it's kind of fun. This is just like your little intro to the uh, introduction to the game right now. Now, there is cool stuff as well. So these bushes have small little ones that you can scan on top of it. And then, of course, hiding ones underneath. The scamps. So it is, it it is I think, in the past... Uh, oh, God. Probably in the past five years, this has become one of my favorite games. I also do like the fact that you can just drag stuff out from under the ground. Now, on the surface, with these sorts of uh, research, don't really get a lot. Pretty sure this only generates... Oh, it has 427 bytes left in it. Um, so th I think they generate about 500 a piece, which is not bad, but the further you go underground, the better the uh, stuff you can find, which is great. Now, I'm just going to go on a quick little... Oh, we have a chasm. Now, I don't have a mod. Oh, yes, I do. Here we go. So I can... F is this flat on the ground? Yes, this flattens the ground using the dirt that I've got to the angle that you have selected. So if I was just like here and flatten out, I would now be able to build a nice flat little area, which is great because there's this chasm right here and I want to build a bridge over it. Like so. Hey, voila! A bridge! I can now get back and forth by walking. Because you don't really have much of a jump height on this. And it takes a long while to get, like, boosters. Um, which are a lot of fun. Now my oxygen is running out, so I'm going to get my ass back to base. And I think that is a really good place to, uh, to leave. Just a nice little introduction. I wanted to introduce you to this game before we do any kind of stupid stuff that's over the top and will most likely get me killed. Um, let's unlock that so I can move this over here. In fact, that's not at the minute. That's not really needed for plugging in. So what I do want to do is I just want to level this area out some more. Now, the stuff that I'm stood on, by the way, is generated concrete. There is concrete in this game. There is a... That little tractor can have a little paver mod put on the front of it, a little paving machine that flattens out ground and creates tarmac. It's really cool. And also, that you remember that generator that I've got right there on my shoulder? Let me show you something really cool, just before we end today's episode. So, I've just equipped automatically, which is uh, a lot of fun, the organic that I picked up. This burns organic. So as you can see, I can turn it on and off. Now, I have power down the center of my backpack, which if I use for crafting while not tethered to the base, um, it will, of course, take my take my power from my backpack, which runs out and then very slowly generates uh, back. But I can turn this on now. Yeah, look at that. Three minutes. Now, this is going to burn that organic uh, a steady, a steady pace, and when that organic is done, it will immediately pull that organic off. Yes, it will immediately pull that organic off. It will immediately take that organic and do some stuff with it. Ooh, small battery. Yes, give me. So, batteries, important. Used for storing power. Doi. Um, while it's going on during the day, if... See, I'm, I'm drawing power now. If I put this battery there. The organic is going to charge that battery. And what do batteries do? That's right, when you run out of power, it acts as a little bit of a backup, which you can then use to uh, charge your stuff. I think I've given you a pretty basic kind of uh, introduction to Astroneer. Now there is something over here that I want to check real quick. Is that a solar panel? Is it? Please be a solar panel. Please be a working solar panel. Yes! I now have solar power. Look at that. 
that is a uh, that this is salvage which eventually you can scrap down into metal and do some other stuff with which we'll get on to in a later episode but because i've just picked up that solar generator i'm going to straight up connect that to the base and there we go we now have organic power and solar power how good is that and we're full on the battery oh that's even better that is even better but yeah like i said i think that is a really good spot to uh, to introduce you all i don't know what i just unlocked but what did i just unlock splitter extender oh that's that's for power management stuff so I've, uh, these these kind of small mission things going here it's kind of cool i like this smeltering oh cool but we'll uh, we'll pick all this kind of stuff up next episode uh i have so much fun playing this even just talking about it and walking around doing this basic stuff at the beginning is is just great and we will explore i mean look you can see one of the planets orbiting right now um or is that a moon i'm not quite sure that might be the that might be the moon of this planet there is an entire solar system which uh there's a map to access it that i can't remember there's a bunch of stuff you can do trust me it's it's a lot of fun and i am gonna have so much fun having having a i'm speechless i love this game and uh, I, I look forward to finally getting into some of the DLC stuff that has dropped, like the jets. The uh, You can make like a, a hoverboard and a hovercraft and all this kind of stuff. So I'm looking forward to that, and I hope you guys are as well. Um, but apart from that, you guys know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, if I can, can I do the right thing? <laughs> Stay awesome. <laughs>